function that took place. What is the date again? 9th October last year where it is alleged that uh, the noble Zake on OHT was attended that function and made some Utterances, mm -hmm. uh, which offended uh, Honorable Chinyamatama. Honorable Chinyamatama, OHT by Chinyamatama. We have some video recording. Tulino know what time be over the recorder, over what time, and you. They told us that you are one of the people who attended that function. Yeah, that was So we want to, we are interrogating whether it is true that that video recording whatever happened there is what is reflected. Then you can ask you some questions there. Can we, first of all, did you attend that function? It's okay. Did you attend that function? You did attend the function. Okay. You, what do you know about this incident? Chichomani kuchini ichaba u. Chichomani. Honorable Zake. What I know, Honorable Zake. Yajake Rakai. Came to Rakai District. Sawi Ramakwa. At the stadium of Ramakwa. Kamuinda, October. On 9th October. No, no, no. Were you there? Sari yo. I was not there. Okay. Yes. I just want to limit yourself. What do you know? Jagala Okomekwe What you had, you saw, you Be smelled, you tasted, which is the other sense again. Be walaba, be wawurida, be wa wuny be you saw, be walaba, you smelled, wa wuny you had, wa wurida, you tested. No legako. I think those are the five senses. Untouched. Yeah. Why? Because there's something in law called hearsay. But what one? So you tell us what you know about it. Kaba biwa wulida, biwa kuata ko. Na chairs chemani na funa katani. What I know is I received the recording, the video recording. Which video recording did you receive? The video, the video in which Honorable Zake spoke at the okay, stadium. We want to know over the video recording you, you say you received it the same. Which we have. We talk about different video recordings. We talk about 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 video that's the video recording I received. Yes, so tell us. Kati tubulide. Wena kafuna, na kajia kukoligi unange. I received the video recording from my colleague. Personal assistant to Honorable Javira. A personal assistant to Honorable Javira. Yeah, I can't see the killer. He sent it to me. 
ngambuza konaibuza kebya ogede konaibuja viro ufunye asking me if i got what honorable zake had spoken about for the honorable javira ne mugama sinaba kubira kuulirako angamba kamusini kile ka video ulireko i told him i've not seen or heard anything so he said let me send you a video so you can see it for yourself wena ulira m ne mpuliranga ayogera konaibuja javira When I received it I listened in and noticed he was speaking about honorable Javira. Nga omuntu avunanyizibwa ku social media platforms. Now as someone responsible for his social media platforms, then sarawo come forward ingira honorable Javira. I decided to forward it to honorable Javira. Ne honorable Juliet. And honorable Juliet. Nabo bawulire honorable Zake byabadayogera. So they can all listen in to what honorable Zake had said. Honorable Chairman, that's why I stopped. The sour sizzle you get a Burundi, nenga nakafunanga kumi. Did you receive it on that very day? Honorable Zagre spoke, or you receive it a week or a day after? Wakafuna kuna kurejini reka reva kakuata oba oruvanyo marwe rolo. I got it the following day. Did you hear anything to do with abusing Chinyamatama? Mukatambia ko waulira mu ensong chintu chonna echegusa kukuvuma onalebo Chinyamatama. Oksinga kuvelera bya onalebo Javira. I followed mostly what was spoken about onalebo Javira. Ne 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 bya Juliet Chinyamatama na waulira ke bimu raike afanana alinge yetunda mu parliament but about honorable chinyamatama i want to narrate the concern it nyo honorable juliet i just asked the question not volunteer what we have not asked yana kula chibuzo chokke cho chikubuzidwa i had a few things about honorable juliet chinyamatama did you hear the names juliet chinyamatama or oh, you heard about Chinyamatama naulira mu echikwata kumanya gombi honorable juliet chinyamatama oba waulira mu chikwata kwasi ku chinyamatama naulira mu elinya chamatama i had the name chamatama leo lokuba nti just please kakana ise yanokula echibuzo when you come here is us who ask questions don't come and Tell us a story which you have not asked. Wana ndo wabula damu ichibuzo chokka echo mashia. Honde Bojavira is a politician and the names of politicians are always being mentioned on radios on social media. Is it your practice that whenever you hear the name of Javira you send a clip to him? Uh, I beg your pardon, please, on the last part. Is it? Sorry. Beg your pardon, please. Honorable Javira, where is Obubaka? Where is your job? Where did they? Sinkola. Na ye, wabera o ebimu. Between no kushiari inga ko. Zena ye, kuwanze, kuwasa ganya social media ye. It's not my practice, but sometimes when I get information about him, I share with him because I'm responsible for his social media platforms. What did you base on to send this particular one in this instance? Kati wa sinzirira kuchi mukatambi kanu okuba ko byomuweleza. Wena uliza katambi ako. Wana yabo zake ya gamba. Wana yabo javira we babira mu parliament ne bawulira ekivundu basoka ku kutunula kujavira what i heard mtu gwenkola na ichanuma nesawo mushyalingire kuna yawulira wa kinawo service what i heard from the recording is the statement that honorable Jav whenever there is a smell in the parliament the first person we approach to find out is honorable javira so when i heard that i was offended and so i had to share with him so he could see the same Thank you. Bye bye.
I've never met Honorable Zake in person, but I follow him. Are you one person sure as the person in that court is on Zake? Of Kakasa, the almost oh, Mammy Arimu Katambia, we honorable Zake. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have one, but I do not use it. And uh, do you have a national ID? Oh, in a card, yeah. Yes, sir. But I left it at the gate. So what is that Christian name you have, which you don't use? Christopher. Christopher. So is, is it also on the national ID? I did not put it. Did you register to vote? Anyway, we want this, sir. Much to do now, Colonda. Yes. Yes, sir. Where exactly? What one now? Chimuri. Chimuri. Rakai district. Rakai district. Chimuri. Rakai district. And still on the voters register, the name Christopher is not there. Hey, Raku, register your balance story. You call Tanya Christopher. They did you call? Okay. So now, she interpreted for us. This is answer. No, the it's not. Must show. So you dropped that name after baptism. Erinye wa resula orva nyuma roko batisiwa. I've been using it. It also appears on my academic documents. Okay. And now here, when you received that particular video clip, Bofuna Katambia of the Honorable Javira, or Kuveri, personal assistant to Honorable Javira. Had you in any way heard about the events of 10th, or it was that clip that brought the events of 9th to your attention? Wario would get the cook, Kuevi, Yava, or Mukoro, Gamuenda, or Wekumi, or Kuro, Rofuna Katambi, Robi Tegerako. Just can I go back to what happened, guys? Answer the question. Nebu, Evia Vamu, Corona, Coronga, Menda, Madonna Funa Catami. Mr. Bacan, you repeat that question. I see a little bit in the clip. Gatona Funa Catami. Had those events been brought to your attention? I got to know about it when you received the video. And what was the response from your principal, the Avira, when you forwarded it to him? Honorable Javira, Kamao, Akamuereza, Yayanukulatia. He was not in the country. Na when I come to the Naka receiving Nangamba, okay. When he received the video, he replied and said, okay. And for the Honorable Chinyamatama, what was the response when you forwarded it to her? I tell Honorable Chinyamatama, I am Kula Chango Kamuereza. Honorable Juliet Chinyamatama, Nangamba, Balekiri. 
Honorable Julie Chinyamatama told me to leave them. By what means did she communicate that message to you? Obakobo Yabuereza Tia Jori. Yabuereza WhatsApp. She sent me a WhatsApp message. In Uganda. She sent it in Uganda. Yeah, you could wear some Uganda. Yes, sir. In Uganda. And uh, for your case, you said you were so much concerned with matters that related to your principal, the Honorable Pujavira. So is it your evidence you, that you never paid attention at all to what had been said about the Honorable Chinyamatam after listening to the clip? Mwagambi mwagambi enti wasenga kusasira kubiayo kwa Honorable Javira na yecho chite mu chite uku I beg your pardon sir on the last time. Is it your evidence that you never paid attention what had been allegedly said about the Honorable Chinyamata. But Julie Zubo of Gambanti, the word Sassira Kwebio Ebiayo Gerwa, Honorable Chinyamata. But Julie Zubo and Gepuanga, Ebigambo, Ebiari Mugari, Zibiari Mugwatako, Ebiari Mugwatako, Nebujafira. Though Zena was in Kirabuna. Support support My evidence. My evidence is that. I paid attention and followed what was said about Honorable Javira, but did not pay attention to what was said about Honorable Chinyamatama. So in essence, your testimony is to the effect that actually you never formed any opinion about Honorable Chinyamatama, basing on that clip. Never formed an opinion about Chinyamatama. Let me say her character after that statement, after listening to that clip. Because both are my leaders, what was said about her also affected me and that's why I was prompted to send and forward Thank your pardon they hurt me the things I heard about her also hurt me and so I forwarded the video to her as well did you believe the allegations what could save you if you are okay did you believe? I can believe you are two different. Did you believe what was allegedly said about Honorable Chinyamatama? I heard them. Just answer me. Did you believe? Was that the question? 
Did you believe? I do not understand the question. I beg that it's refreshed. What is belief in God? Okukiriza. What kiriza? Ebi ebi ayogerwa. Honorable Juliet Sinyamatama. Honorable Juliet Sinyamatama. I did not believe because I'd never seen her do that. Okay. Therefore, you don't hate her. Do you hate her after that incident? That is after witnessing that I mean listening to that clip. I did not hate her, but it affected me. Do you, did those statements also make you hate the Honorable Javira? If you are a girl, you are a girl, you are a Javira? No, I did not hate him. Okay. And you said you were a voter in Iraq where the Honorable Jinyamatama is the MP? Yes, I am the Honorable Iraq, the Honorable Jinyamatama Jali, the MP. Yes, I am a voter. So you still have confidence in her as your MP. And whatever was said is not true. I do not hate her. I do not hate her. I do not Yes, I do have. And confidence. this clip you said you got from the BA of the Honorable Javira. Do you know where that person got it from? Erogambia Katambi can walk off Naku P. Ewa Honorable Javira. Oh, Mani Yakatambi Abuja Kajam. I do not know. Incidentally, what is his name? Amanyagayani. Seruanga Ronaki. 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 I do not know them. Okay. Did you in any way discuss it after the Honorable Pichinyamatama told you, Pareke, leave them in the WhatsApp message, leave them? Honorable Pichinyamatama, did you in any way after that discuss these matters with her? Honorable Pichinyamatama, I'm going to go and say, Pareke, Wagenda Maso, Nova, Kubi Mwayo, Kira Kukatambi, Ako, Tewari. Nothing. Is it possible for you to produce that WhatsApp message? Or Mes message A, your WhatsApp or so you I have a new phone. My phone got spoiled. So that's the last chat you had with her. We rarely talk. Recently, I've been talking to her, reminding me about coming for these meetings. You had earlier on say, uh, when your question was put to you by the Honorable Alex in days whether you knew him before. Do, do, you, do you know the party he subscribes to? The Honorable Zake? Or Manye Chimina Honorable Zake Cha Imiram? Or Manye Chimina Honorable Zake Cha Imiram? No, the party is not a Chimina. It's a Chimina Cha Omani echivina chomo fuzi ona repozake chali mu is for nope and uh, in that video clip did you bother to find out the people who attended who who, who appeared in that clip do you know them abantu abali mukatambia kaka kwati boba manyi ndaliye mona Okay. 
I saw only Honorable Zaki as one that I know. Do you know the position he holds in Inup? The leadership position? Omanyechi for H.O. Bukulembeze Chagwada Munup? No, I don't. No further question. Okay. Thank you very much. You are Mr. Kauma Sitenda. Mr. Kauma Sitenda. We thank you very much for having come and uh, respond to our questions. We have a way over there. Did he say manages social media platform for both Javila and Honorable Chamatama or only one? I wanted to cross check that, I'm sorry, Chair. With my record here. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, just Chair, since this is an inquiry, Chair. I, I beg for your indulgence to be flexible. Just to close, we'll close and open. No, no, not closing and opening, Chair. Yes. Okay, only that one question. Only that one question. Yes. 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 Thank you. Uh, thank you for coming, uh, Mr. So we were, yeah. uh, I just want to emphasize one thing. This process is about finding out the truth. And whether whatever happened there infringed on the rules of procedure parliament. That is all. We don't have any interest. It's not a partisan problem. We don't have any interest in this. And we expect all of witnesses who are coming to tell us just facts, what they know. Then the decision will be left to us. Thank you for coming and you are discharged. Sorry. To receive only one witness because it's already coming one. Then the rest we are we shall adjourn tomorrow. The gentleman from Makere. Is it Makere? Okay, tell us more about yourself first of all. Oh, I'm a senior lecturer in the Department of African Languages, Makere University, <coughs> School of Languages, Literature and Communication. But I also double as the coordinator for the Center for Language and Communication Services which is the accredited center to offer language services to the government of Uganda. So what I do in that office <coughs> is to quality assure and sign off every document which comes to us in the request to offer language services. So for this particular case, I will receive the request from the clerk of parliament to transcribe and translate a video recording uh, from Uganda to English. Did you watch that video recording? Yes, I did. You did? I did. Lady, can you play that recording? <coughs> Lady, your clip that was sent you for translation? Yes, sir. Just look at this report. Can I borrow your Come on, you give this document to me. I don't know whether you sent it to one of us. Can you? Just give it, just give it. 
Do you want to cross check whether the one is running is the one you have? I think what you want to know is whether it's the one who translated that. And, uh, yeah, we, we shall now officially receive it. Part of our Doctor. Doctor. I heard you say your role is to assure quality of the product yes. and sign of sign of the sign the document. Yes. You so it's not you who does the transcription. And the translation. It is not me in person, but I am part of the team. No, no, no. Okay, in this particular case, who exactly did the transcription and translation? We have the initials in the footer of that document, which is DK. The footer. The footer. Yes, I've seen the footer. We must have a word transcribed DK. and translated by DK. Yes. That is Dr. Deo Kawalya. Deo who? Deo Kawalya. Kawalya. Yes. Oh, it's the man who did the actual transcription and translation. Yes. Is he always a doctor like you? Yes, he is. Oh, okay. And can you also confirm that uh, before that you had also received a similar request from Parliament by the clerk. Yes, we did. Okay. And uh, I would like the witness to confirm this translation, the transcription and translation in the hazard. They, they, they received a request. Then, did you do one? Did you conduct that translation? Yes, transcription? yes we responded. Yeah. Okay. And you forwarded a transcription to Parliament. Yes, we did. Do you recall when it was? That was around the 17th of November. Which year? 2023. 20? 2023. Can you confirm it, that one? Uh, I need to run through this because it's not on our head. Uh, what, what I saw in the answer, do you look at it? Okay. Who did this? DK. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, just want you to have the other translation. Second one, the first one. Have a look at this first one. Not both. You have both. Okay. Particular, I'm taking you to this line here. Let me show you the top here. Aha. Okay. Just, just. 
When you want it's on page paragraph this, page this. I don't know the paragraphing, but the page is ten thousand five hundred and fifty nine. That's the hazard. That is the hazard. Yes. Paragraph what? Second column and columns. There are two columns. Second column, first paragraph. I think that's this part as well. Thank you, Chair. Give it back to you. I would like you to just pause it with a corresponding translation or transcription in the second one. Then we go we move together. Can you go to the second transcription? Yes, correspond just opposite. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, I can see. Wonderful. <coughs> first, read the first one and the answer. It says, Katiate, Tulinayo, Kanaluma, Sibakaita, Chinyamatama, Ataku, Kafun, Nyon, Nyon, Nyon. Then let's go to the second one. Katiate, Tulinayo, Kanaluma, Sibakaita, Chiamatama, Ataku, Kafun, Nyon, Nyon. Say the names. Yes, I do. In the two texts. Yes, I do. How do you explain that? Yet the two documents are from your office. In the initial request that we received, we, we made a mistake in the transcription, which we later corrected after we had been notified about that discrepancy. You concede you made a mistake. Yes, which mistake did you make? The name, the, the, the spelling of the, the name in the audio, the correct name in the audio is Chiamatama, not Chiamatama at this particular line. And uh, you in charge of quality assurance, you signed it off with that mistake? Yes. Where did you get that name Chiamatama in the original text? Where did you get it from? Yet in the audio, it is Chinya Chamatama. Where did you get the name Chinyamatama? As, as a human being, yes. uh, sometimes we can be misled by uh, the, the assumption that we might hold because we, we certainly um, received a, a request which spelled clearly what we were supposed to do. What sound for the down? Put just lie down. Name of your wife indicated the name which was assumed to be the record. I'm interested in that assumption. Where does it originate from? What I want to say is mm. this. If I am aware, I will I will use an example that you are honorable. No, no, no. You are not here to know what you are aware of. Just ask the question, what happened? Okay. What, what happened, Chair, is that uh, the transcriber misheard. Okay. I should say the transcriber is a, uh, a, knows this person in the recording. They know their name. And I also know their name as Chinyamatama. Oh, so In recording, so let me, let me ask your work was influenced by the knowledge you had before? Not really. Not really. That's not what I want to say. Okay. What do you want to say? No, you took me off my point. But what I want to say is that. Uh, Because we know the, the name Chinyamata. So when we, we get to transcribe, uh, of course, in, 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 in a transcription, when you listen to a transcription, there are some parts which are intelligible or inaudible, so to say, 
which result from the way somebody speaks, maybe they speak so fast or so slowly. So as a human, certainly you can miss here some, some name. But of course on the second look, if you are prompted for example, it, it, you can always return and get to the correct. So so given another chance still you can discover more. Not, not anyway, let me take you to the, last, the second and last one in that recording. Bring me the back this chair. I'm taking him to page 10, 560, the last paragraph. Again, just opposite with what you have in the latest transcription. Now, this is the translation now. Yeah, that one. First column, last paragraph, Yes, Mr. Zaki. Because those ones are doing a lot to a lot to keep us. No, 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 no. That's the one I have. She is always there. Ten what? again the difference. She's always there as if selling her body mm. in the parliament. She's always there as if selling herself. Yes. Can you explain the discrepancy? Yes, there is a difference in two words. In the second translation we have her, herself and in this in the, in the area translation we have Which is which now? Selling herself, selling her body. The latest is what we stand for. So, how about this one, which is in the which is on the hazard, the record of parliament, and it's you who brought it. Chair, I mentioned earlier that uh, the initial translation was uh, uh, retracted, and so we produced. Okay. 
well, wait, I would like you to confirm that you made a mistake again to record this, to translate it that way, to say she's always there as if she's selling her body in the parliament. Do you agree you made a mistake? I wouldn't say we made a mistake in this instance. Because this is a, this was a revision of what we did. Do you stand by this? I wouldn't because it was retracted. It was retracted. The question I'm posing, Chair, do you concede you made a mistake to include the word as if she's selling her body, which you changed in the latest one to say as if she's selling herself? Do you agree you made a mistake? Well, now that we correct it, yes, yes, it was a correction. And you were in charge, you were, you, were, you were arrived to that mistake there at the time you signed? Yes. As the person in charge of quality assurance, you signed it? Chair, uh, I forgot to say something that, that happened in the initial request. If, if, if it pleases this. Uh, Sorry. Right. I, I forgot to mention something in the initial request that you received. But if it pleases uh, this gathering, I can mention it. Mm -hmm. There are instances, I must say, when our institution receives uh, express requests, which we have to, to, to work on like the word is express. We received that request, I think, around 6 o'clock in the evening, and we had to come up with a translation and transcription the following day at 9 o'clock. So, yes, it is possible that there could have been errors which we corrected in the second uh, submission. So I was asking you again, I'm intrigued to know, you as a person made that who is in charge of political assurance, even with that pressure, you said you got it late evening, you, you needed to produce the result the following morning, you worked at my presume throughout the night. Why didn't you take time off as a person in charge of political assurance to make sure that you make, you produce a, an accurate record? I did, but under the circumstances, it's possible. You are all human. You are all human. So you, you are prone to making errors. Okay, fine. Now, this, do you know, this is in the answer to now. When you are asked by the clerk of Parliament to help with the translation and transcription and translation, which is going to be captured on the record of Parliament, that is going to be there for decades, probably centuries. Why didn't you take time? Make sure that it is accurate. The circumstances dictated. Circumstances dictated. Yes, finally, you as an expert now in language, help us understand this. <clears throat> the two dif the differences now. As if she's there selling her body. Body is in the second, the final. The one? first, the first one. Because now, that is talking about what he starts with the other is okay. Yes. So we are looking at what he stands with. As if she's saying, has the record itself. Okay. She's always there as if saying, herself in the parliament. Now that you retracted the earlier one, which had indicated that as if she's selling her body in the parliament, to change it to as if she's selling herself in the parliament. Intrinsically, what does it mean? The, the second one. How, how 
should we understand it? What does what do you mean as if she's selling herself? What do you want us to understand? It's a reflexive uh, statement which means she does that to herself. Hmm? She does the act to, to herself. It is reflexive. It is reflexive as if she's selling her person, her whole person, which is self. Supposing one meant as if she's selling herself politically, how would you understand it as an expert? Well, that is not for me to No, I'm asking you as an expert, how would you understand it, the context? If, if the wording has the political, mm. uh, the word political, so I will translate it as such, but I wouldn't assume because I work with text. Okay. What is provided is what I and this is exactly what I wanted you to confirm. You cannot assertively say, no, you cannot assertively, no, actually, you cannot assert that the statement meant selling one's body. That's not for me to determine. It's not for you to determine. Colleagues, do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? Yeah. The, the nature of the work you do, especially in translation, translation of languages, sometimes it's a bit very, very tricky. Mm. Even as things, we see big politicians President saying give it a bit for me, or present for me, but in the middle of the translation, everything collapses. So, doctor, please assure us, we need assurances that you have confidence in the team that did this work with you. And they are what? They are what? They are competence. They are competence. You will feel comfortable. You are competent, you say you are in a hurry, but let all know and I think how, com how comfortable you feel. The entire thing, not just you are wrong. I beg your pardon, regarding what? If, if you could please your pardon me. Oh, let me try to use other words. The other words. The other words. You say you are a doctor? Yes, I am. With qualification in languages? Yes, I am. Including translation? Including translation. I also have a lot of qualifications in languages, especially in visual languages, in other languages. I know one must be highly qualified to do a translation of this nature. For example, when you say lawyers, we know where one must go in order to qualify to be a lawyer. When we say, my one must have qualifications, when we say teacher, we know where one should have born to be a teacher at second level. When we say doctor, we know where one must have born and the qualifications. So, how sure are you that the people who did this work with you are properly qualified to do this work? Okay, Chair, I think I also didn't mention my qualifications. I have a bachelor's degree in education with the Ugandan history as the subject of training. I have a master's in linguistics, both from Makerere, and I have a PhD in general linguistics from the University of Stellenbosch, South Africa. Dr. Kawaria, who transcribed and translated, has a bachelor's degree in the arts at Makerere University, a master's in linguistics, Makerere University, and a PhD in African Studies at Ghent University, Belgium. I can confirm that through our training and practice, all the people we employ to do translation and transcribing work are fully qualified. Have you ever experienced a situation whereby you did the translation and afterwards people doubted it? Or credit. 
and the situation of the in the past. Yes, in a few equations, yeah, it can happen. It can happen, not, uh, depending on the circumstances. For example, in this particular case, being a, a, an audio, it is prone to some parts being unintelligible. If it's a, a written text, for example, handwritten, and maybe it's an old text, it is possible that some parts may be illegible. So, yes, such things can be. Last thing, yeah. my question may not be for you. If it is not for you, advise well, me. We have seen some instances, yes. If it is not for him, he has the capacity to advise me. We have seen some instances here where a video can be tempered with. A video can be tempered with. Or oh, edited. Or oh, edited. Some information missing, some information added. We have evidence that this, uh, this recording was tempered with. I don't. I don't. That's not for me to oh, Okay. Yeah. okay. Is it possible for you to refer to a type of professionals who can prove that you must tempered with? Uh, at Makerere, you mean? In the world. Yes, they are people. Who can prove that you are not tempered with? Yeah, they are there. Well, uh, I wouldn't name right well, well, here. Well, I think I know you leave that to us on the one days we can yeah. always. Because Thank you, as I said, we come in, we are trying to investigate the truth. So we can't take any reckless decision or come to any finding without any basis. And the decision shall take as a committee shall be based solely on what we have found out and what can be proved. So that should not worry anybody, any member of this committee. Yes, Honorable? Thank you very much, Chair. Yeah. Doctor, Sir. you received a task from Parliament. Yes, we did. And you know how serious the institution of Parliament is. And you had a deadline, a deadline of maybe by 9 o'clock you are supposed to submit your task. Yes. Did you address your mind? or your team, did they address their mind on the sensitivity of the matter and how much damage you would have caused by your mishaps in this translation? We, we tried our best. We tried our best. Thank you. Okay. Let's try. Okay, we may not go so much technicalities. I just want you to assure this committee that that video we played it twice is what you translated. Yes, Chair. And what translation are you sure of? The, the second submission, Chair. The second submission? Yes. Have you watched and rewatched that submission such that whatever is here, because we don't want to be misled? I did watch the video. Sorry? I did watch the video. When did you watch the video? At the time I was proofreading. The first time, the second time? Uh, on both occasions I did. Yes. On both occasions I did, but particularly on, on the second request, because I wanted to, to be uh, extremely sure that there are no there's no room for doubts on what we, we had on record. What else can we doubt in your second recording? <laughs> Not sure. I, I, I have none to, to, to point at. Hmm? I have none to point at. You have none to point at. Okay. Colleagues, thank you very much. Uh, you are discharged. <coughs> to proceed your concerns, Joshua. One relates to this record. 
we need guidance from the chair, from the committee. Now that is retracting the earlier translation, which is actually part of the record that was submitted to this committee and forms the basis of the investigation. What is it? That, how are we going to deal with it? That is how you want to know how the committee is going to deal with it. What we decide? We, we, because now, Chair, we need to prepare ourselves. Because Just prepare yourself for your submission. The rest it will be us. We know when you take a decision okay. as a committee. Fine, Chair. The second concern, Chair, again, which is procedure about the validity of these proceedings. Mm. I, Chair, is, I seek to be guided on the issue of quorum, whether indeed the committee is fully constituted, because I see very few numbers here. Yeah. Uh, the rules. The rules. I stand to be guided. About the quorum. Quorum is only needed at the time of voting. Voting. Could not vote at the time. There is a decision to be taken and so on and voting. We will raise the issue of quorum without voting. And that is the purpose actually of that very rule. For us as parliament to address on this crucial matter, so that you take it to your institution. It doesn't matter whether it's parliament or any other government institution. It could be KCCA trying to you know, to, 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 to seek some translation okay. from you. So any government institution, when, even private people, when they have submitted document, take off your time. We don't want to hear that a, a, an institution, whether you have these doctors, PhDs, say, well, I made a mistake there. Well, no, 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 no. That doesn't work well to some of us who hold the, the institution in highest esteem. So I think that is the lesson you get it from here. Because you, you, you take us some conversation which we should not have had. Because as we, we now have a document where there is an error, which you have explained, but there is an error. I'm sure any other government institution will be filing the documents to you. And they don't need those sort of uh, either whatever the term we used to call them. Okay. Thank you very much and your discharge. Thank you, Chair. One of the documents is mine. That has, it has been waited. Okay. Thank you. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Colleagues, we can only take all of those two witnesses.